Bakura loved weekends. He liked the fact that his Hikari didn't wake him up for school. He liked that he had nothing to do. And he also liked the fact that he was left alone every Sunday for a good few hours. Lately, for some reason, Ryu has been leaving Bakura at home every Sunday for the past few months. And he loved it. Until now. Bakura get up. We're gonna be late. Ryu shouted as he threw a dress shirt and dress pants at him. Bakura looked at Ryu in confusion. What? He asked. Ryu walked into the room, fixing his tie. We're leaving soon. Get up and get dressed. Ryu left. Bakura looked at the clothes on his bed. Right? Ryu was getting Bakura's breakfast ready when he heard Bakura walking down the stairs. He turned and sighed. Really Bakura? What's wrong with this? I wear it every day, and you don't complain. Bakura was wearing his normal blue and white shirt and blue jeans. Ryu sighed and shook his head slowly. He walked over to Bakura. Bakura, you're probably gonna kill me. But please put the suit on. We have to leave soon. Bakura's expression turned from lackadaisical to anger. What? You want me to wear a bloody suit, just to go to some bloody event that I don't even want to go to? You must be a complete loony. Ryu backed away. If you do it, I'll buy you that knife after. Ryu said. The one with the golden double-edged blade? Bakura asked. Ryu nodded. Before Ryu could blink, Bakura ran upstairs, shut the door, and began changing. Ryu smiled. Bakura came back a few minutes later, wearing a suit and tie. Great. Just brush your air down, and we can leave. Ryu said as he packed a briefcase with a bunch of religious books. What are those? Bakura asked as he pointed to the books. These are a Bible and song book. Come on, we're gonna be late. Ryu said as he walked out the door with Bakura following. They arrived at a large religious looking building. Ryu, where are we? Bakura asked. Ryu didn't answer. He just opened the door. As Bakura walked in, he suddenly got the sense that he should be quiet. He looked around at all the statues of angels. He saw a picture of a man standing in a group of people. Bakura, come here. I found us seats. Ryu said quietly. Bakura walked over to where Ryu was and sat down. Who's that guy? Bakura asked as he pointed to the painting. That's Jesus. Now please Bakura, I need you to stay quiet and sit still until this is over. This is very important to me. Bakura looked at Ryu in disbelief. But before he could get a word out, the man began speaking. Welcome everyone. It is so wonderful to see so many faces here today. Mothers, fathers, old and young. So any here to learn about the Lord. And I see we have some new honors here as well. Let's start today's summon by standing and joining in song and prayer. The entire group stood up, except for Bakura. Bakura, stand up. Ryu said sharply. Bakura automatically stood up. He saw everyone opening the exact same book Ryu had called a songbook. When they got to the page, everyone began singing as organs played. Bakura was confused, until Ryu brought his attention to the book, and glided his finger along the line of words as he sang, a few minutes later, everyone stopped. Ryu and another person on his other side, grabbed his hands as they closed their eyes and bowed their heads in prayer. Bakura did the same. A few minutes later, everyone sat down. Bored? That one word rang through Bakura's mind as he sat there. He tried sleeping, but it's kinda hard to do that when you're sitting on a wooden bench with no armrests. He tried talking to Ryu, but he ignored him. Ryu, I'm bored. Ryu nodded and pulled out a religious activity book. Here. Please stay quiet. I'll take you out for ice cream if you're good. Bakura smiled and started on the first activity in the book. A few minutes later, Ryu looked over to see how Bakura was doing, only to find him asleep. At least he's quiet. He said before going back to his reading. Bakura get up. It's time to go. Bakura woke up and looked at Ryu in relief. Ryu, I just had this really bad dream that you took me to a terrible place where we had Yosit for hours, and we couldn't do anything. And I was forced to interact with even more humans. And dash, Bakura, that wasn't a dream. Ryu said as he forced Bakura to look around. You mean? Hey Ryu. Who's this? A woman asked. Ryu smiled. Hey there Mizotoni. This is Bakura. My, brother. Your voice sounds like a mouse. With that high-pitched voice and all. Bakura said angrily. What he means is that he likes your voice. It's soft. 
Ryu covered up for him. Otomi smiled. Well, thank you. Anyway, it was nice seeing you. Bye Ryu. And she walked off. Ryu turned around and slapped Bakura across the face. What's wrong with you? Ryu asked angrily. Bakura just looked at him. What do you mean? I didn't do anything. Ryu sighed. Bakura, this is a place of worship. You have to respect others. How would you like it if someone called you old because of your hair color? Bakura sat there. You wouldn't like it, would you? Bakura shook his head. Ryu nodded. Okay. Come on, I want you to meet someone. After an hour of nothing but talking to other people, Akira snapped. Hey, there's only so much a Yami could take. Ryu I'm tired. And bored. Can we go now? Ryu just ignored him and continued talking. Akira sighed. He got up and began walking around the church. They call this a place of religion? There's not a single cat or god anywhere. He said as he looked around. Excuse me. Are you new here? Akira turned. Standing behind him was a little girl in a pink dress. Who the hell cares? He asked rudely. You're not supposed to say that here. I don't care. You should. He's always watching. She said as she began to walk away. Hey girly. The little girl turned around, only to come face to face with Bakura. Do you like, games? The little girl nodded. Bakura smiled evilly. Before the girl could escape, Bakura quickly grabbed her and held her tightly against his chest. He held up his millennium ring to the girl's face. Look into the ring's eye. He whispered into the girl's ear. The girl did, and gasped. She struggled to get away, but Bakura's grip was too strong. Bakura laughed as the girl struggled, and then stopped. He let the girl's body fall to the floor. He got up and walked away. A few minutes later, Bakura and Ryu were driving home. So Bakura, how was your first day at church? Bakura smiled evilly. It was simply, wonderful. Oh no. Ryu stopped the car and turned to Bakura. What did you do? Please I hope it was nothing serious. Bakura smiled. I sent some girly to the Shadow Realm. Ryu had no words. He just stared at Bakura in shock. You? Ryu sighed and continued driving home. And the whole time there, he couldn't help but think. Taking Bakura to church was a huge mistake. What have I done?